Thank you, Dr. Shumon. Uh, uh, good afternoon, uh, honorable chairpersons and dear audience. Uh, I'm Dr. Shurifuddin Khan, uh, going to spend six minutes' time with you next. And that I'll be talking on subarachnoid hemorrhage, neurointerventional approach. We all know subarachnoid hemorrhage is a devastating medical and surgical situation where recognized treatment options are surgical clipping and neurointerventional approach. Here, uh, we will be talking about neurointerventional approach. Uh, neurointerventional approach is a, a bit different from cardiac approach. Uh, while diagnosing the disease, we do the diagnostic digital subtraction angiogram, reading the brain vessels in three phases, arterial phase, capillary phase, and venous phase. Uh, typically, this kind of patients uh, coming to our emergency department, suppose it was our first patient, 35-year-old young man, coming with a sudden severe headache and vomiting with alteration of mentation. Any resident, obviously by listening to the history, they can diagnose, yes, it could be a case of subarachnoid hemorrhage. Then immediately they will go for a non-contrast CT scan of brain. Here we can see non-contrast CT scan of the brain. And there is some clue in the, some clue of blood we can see in the right sylvian fissure. And subsequently we go for vascular event. Here you can easily see there is a aneurysmal dilatation in the middle cerebral artery. And whenever we go for DSA that I was talking, easily we can detect this kind of aneurysm. Here you can see the aneurysm. And then we plan for our surgical or neurointerventional treatment. This is our interventional approach. We do the 3D angiogram of the brain vessels and clearly detect the angiogram. And the, finally, we measure the aneurysm by its size, shape, and collateral vessels. You can see here, we are passing our microcatheters, and through the catheter, we are filling the coil in the sac, aneurysmal sac. And our target is to occlude the aneurysmal sac from the total circulation so that it doesn't rupture and it doesn't create any problem inside the brain. So this is how we perform neurointerventional approach in cases of subarachnoid hemorrhage. And finally, we do some uh, final checkup whether any residual effect is there. You can see the glistening part is the coil. It is very costly platinum wire coil. And if you take a look, it was the before aneurysm coiling, it was the during, and you can see the aneurysm is totally obliterated from the circulations. Again, second case, typical subarachnoid hemorrhage, vascular imaging showing middle cerebral artery by percussion aneurysm. Again, 3D DSA showing grape-like aneurysm that ruptured. And our procedure was like same. We had been doing angiogram, detecting the aneurysm, passing the wire. You can see how nicely we pass the fine wire. And you have to be very careful passing the wire, maintaining the activated clotting time. Otherwise, you may clot inside the brain, and that can cause further stroke while doing this sophisticated work. You can see how the aneurysm is obliterated by placing coil after coil. Although this is very costly, but in our institute, we get supply from the government in a very low cost. And finally, if we take a look, same during, before, and after. Now, this is very interesting case. If you take a look, this 32-year-old lady, young girl, came to us with a severe headache and some kind of visual disturbance. Initially, MRI has been done, and it has been mistaken by a pituitary tumor. Although uh, reporting was confusing, but we went for vascular imaging. If you take a look, you can see an atom bomb inside the brain coming out from the carotid artery. So subsequently, we did the 3D DSA. You can see the aneurysm there. And again, we have proceeded. You see how the blood is moving inside the aneurysm. It was a giant internal carotid artery aneurysm. And uh, we have been processed same way you can see this aneurysm, we passed our wire and catheter, uh, getting the inside of the aneurysmal sac. It has been shown that it took 14 coils to fill up this gap. And it was very costly, but our institute, you see how we place the coil. Here is the picture. Uh, and placing the coil, making the basket, and coil after coil, we gave 14 coils to achieve our success. And if you take a look, this is the aneurysm, this is during, and this is after. 
So patient was uneventfully well immediately after extubation. One day stay in the ICU and she went home after two to three days. And finally, uh, I'll be sharing one more cases. Uh, that is, you can see this is also another subarachnoid hemorrhage. We can see this is a basilar aneurysm. And uh, same procedure here. In case of basilar artery, the surgeons know it's always incorporated with so many perforators. If you obstruct any kind of perforator here, that will create a thelema perforating stroke there. But in any interventional approach, it is so precise and so smooth that you are only occluding the aneurysmal sac, preserving all the collaterals and perforators. And finally, whenever you give a check angiogram, you will see the perforators, how nicely they are preserved. And the patient is safe. There is no distal occlusion. You just see, there is, this is the aneurysm. This is during, and you, ca you cannot see no kind of uh, aneurysmal residual sac. So this is the neurointerventional approach while treating the aneurysm. In our institute, we have been started this procedure in Dhaka Medical College. In two decades back, we cannot think of treating these ca cases. And it was Department of Cardiology in Dhaka Medical College. They gave us the opportunity to work in their cath lab. Uh, I'm very proud to say Professor Wadu Chaudhuri sir is there. They gave us the chance to work in Dhaka Medical College. That is why we worked there. Dr. Shofik is here, Dhaka Medical College. He worked there. And ultimately, we are successively uh, not only neurologists, neurologists, neurosurgeon, and radiologists. All three disciplines are working shoulder to shoulder to apprise the discipline and to give you the benefit of these sophisticated cases. Thank you. Thank you very much.